Today I'm going to show you how to change your dust filtration bags on the model 2034, 2034VX, and 2034VXA. So how do you know it's time to change your bags? Well, typically we will say change out your bags once a year. But what if you're not, what if you're blasting many hours? So if you're blasting 10 hours or less, once a year is great, 10 hours or less a week. If you're blasting 40 hours a week, 50, then you need to look at changing your dust filtration bags a little more frequently. Let's say every six months or over like 250 hours is a good time to take a look at those bags and change them out. How long should this take? It should take you probably about 25, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes to put the bags on. But if you have the proper tools ready at hand, it should take you maybe 25 to 30 minutes a little longer if you're if you don't have all your tools and your hand tightening versus using a drill. Everything in the front is easy. Once you do the first few, you start to get the hang of pulling that that bag material and folding it over and then kind of holding it down with your fingers and then tightening the head. The ones that are in the back are a little awkward. You want to make sure you change them, but you want to make sure you change them right because at the end of the day, you're blasting. You want to make sure that you can see what you're blasting and that all depends right here in your dust collector, your HEPA filtration bags. Now let's talk about our bags. So these are real, this is what one bag looks like. In the model of 2034, you have 11 bags. These are HEPA bags and what's special about them is they have a Teflon lining. Now this lining is a Teflon coating, which is similar to your Teflon nonstick pans. And what happens is it's very slick, it's slippery. So when you have, when you open up your dust filtration bags, you'll see there's 11, but what happens is all your dust and debris go through these bags. Well, with this nonstick surface, the, the particles, the dust particles will fall down into the hopper into your disposable liner. But over time, this Teflon lining will wear. Just like your Teflon coated pans, that coating wears and you have to replace it. Same thing with your bags. Now it's not that dust is gonna come through the bags because you can see here, everything looks clean. You open the back of this filtration area and there's no piles of abrasive or dust. This is what the bags are doing the, their job. They're containing the dust, the particles are containing all that debris in the bag. Now, if your, if your Teflon lining starts to wear, then you may have some of this dust particles sitting on this area here. By shaking the handle or by manually shaking your bags, you start to free up those dust particles, making the inside of your blasting cabinet clean or more clear while you're blasting. But to replace the bags, it's very simple. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, a couple things that we need to do is when you open this up, you'll notice that all of these heads here are facing you. We make it easy for you to change these bags from these hose clamps. These are little threaded link connections. So we're going to we're going to loosen these up so we can free this whole uh, shaker bar area. And then we need to remove the shaker bar. So there's a few tools that you need to have. So let's go over what do you need? Number one is you do need to have a dust mask. Now I will not be wearing one today, but you should wear one when you're changing out your dust filtration bags. So it's very important to put this on. Goggles, sealed goggles are very important as well. So those are the two safety um, items that you need to wear. You can have an air gun. You need to have your drill. And I have a 5 16 um, bit with an adjustable small wrench. I also have my Phillips drill bit and I have a 3 16 Allen wrench with my dust collector bags and a shop vac. So those are the items that we need to get started that we will need to replace our dust filtration bags. So I'm gonna take my wrench. The first thing I'm gonna do is loosen up these little um, links here and I kind of pre-did it, but you can take your wrench and then you're going to just start to loosen that up a little bit. And then you're going to want to loosen that up just like that. And then the back one as well. 
and then we'll do this side here and you can see here you can take if it's tight you can take your wrench and then just kind of loosen up this these little links here okay so that's one that's what your adjustable wrench is used for we're going to loosen these The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wrench and then we're gonna take the Allen wrench and we're gonna remove the shaker bar. So there's a nut on the inside. You need to use your wrench to hold it. Tighten that up. And then you're gonna take your Allen wrench and then you're gonna to start to loosen that and you can see that loosening. Okay, there we go. Now, before we remove these bags, because remember, we have dust and debris that are could be sitting inside this, especially when they're worn bags. So I'm gonna bring my trash can, just gonna kind of set it here, but I'm gonna take my air gun and I'm gonna blow off and free any particles, dust particles that could be on these bags. And all this is doing is just kicking off or freeing the particles down into the hopper. We're gonna grab our drill and we're going to take our 5 16th bit here and then we're gonna loosen the hose clamps. So I'm gonna loosen these first. So you can see some of that dust and that particles are here, kind of loose. I'm gonna set my hose clamp up here. One thing to, to take notice here is how these are folded. And that's very important with these dust bags. We wanna make sure that they have that nice fold. It keeps the bag sealed. Okay, you have this rubber um, piece here, this black rubber piece. That's important, you wanna leave that on there. But now with these bags loose, I have a little more access to the back here. So we're gonna do the other side now. And what's great here is you can see that these bags really contain all the dust. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these bags. So I'm gonna change my bit to the Phillips drill bit. And we're gonna start to loosen these up. There we go. So basically, this screw just screws right into this metal bar, and that's it. Just want to tighten it down once we put the new bag on, and then you just loosen it with your drill bit. But we can remove the front, and then we'll, we will remove the bar to have access to the bags in the back. All the other bags are facing towards the back of the dust filtrations. So we need to make sure that this is loose. There we go. Now let's go to the other side. Take it off the hinge. Okay, so now we can bring, you always wanna make sure Remember how this entered. So take a look at the bar. It's cut. This part goes to the back that goes around this baffle area, around this, this area here. So we're gonna take these out. And now we have access to this side. So we're gonna take our drill again, and we're gonna start to loosen these up. And 
This is the last one. Great. So now we're just going to pull these out. You'll notice that we have some dust, some, some fine particulate here. This We're going to vacuum that up. Now this just came from as residue from the bags. So I'm going to take my shop back and we're going to turn this on. Looking at this, I'm missing one of my my rubber seals on this back one. So I'm sure it's in one of my bags and there it is right there. So you need to make sure that you have this rubber seal. This is going to go over the flange, okay, and you're just going to slide it down. It needs to be flush with the flange here and that helps seal in your bag. So no sand will work its way out. If there's no rubber seal, then the sand or the dust and debris will work its way outside of the bag. So the the black seal is very important that it's there, the rubber seal. And so we're going to take a cloth here. We're just going to kind of clean this up. You do want to make sure this area is clean because if you have a bag that has that did not get folded or connected correctly, installed correctly, you will have um, a lot of sand on this area. So it's very important to keep your area clean. And then that way you can tell which bag was not installed properly. All right, so let's put on the new bags. So we're gonna, this is the back of the bar. So we're gonna start with the back here. I'm gonna take my screw, I'm gonna line it up here. And then I'm gonna take my drill bit and we're gonna move it to about seven. The torque about seven. So now the back has been done. Now we'll move to the front. Okay, that's where the shaker bar is. So we're gonna move over. So you can tell with the cut, this is goes to the back of your dust collector. So we want to make sure that we enter it on the side, in the right direction. We're going to slide this through. And we're going to hook the little loops. There we go. Tighten that down with your fingers. You can tighten them later. Just want to get it set in place. So now we can bring this over. I'm 
Okay, so now the bar is in place. Okay, what's important here is we wanna keep the bag straight and then we're going to need to fold over the excess. We wanna stay away from the seam. So we'll need to do like a fold to fold over to make sure that it's nice and tight over the rubber seal. But I'm gonna grab my drill and then I put on the bit, the 5 16 and you notice it's an extender. I have the fold. So we're just gonna bring down the hose clamp, bring it over. Again, we're pulling the excess here, folding it, and I feel the seam right there. So I'm gonna move a little closer to me Grab my drill and just tighten this down. Okay, so I'm looking at this fold here and it's not folded very well. So it's kind of gathered and what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna have a pile of sand or, or debris right here next to this hose clamp. And that's telling me that that bag is not sealed. So I need to fix that. So I'm gonna loosen this up. And then I'm gonna try to go through and do a better fold on this on this one and make sure it's really gathered. Okay. There we go. It actually feels tighter. What's key is keeping your tool close to you so you can hold it in place and tighten it down. So that looks better and you can see that it's nice and clean on this side and folded nice and tight. All right, so we have a few more to go and we are done changing out our bags. So the hose clamp I'm keeping in the center of the red, I'm sorry, the rubber seal. So the hose clamp is going to be in the center and you want to have easy access to the head so your, so your extended um, bit can reach these areas. Okay, very important that the fold is nice and tight and that you're not folded on a seam. So the fold is really important because it helps keep everything sealed and all that dust and debris inside the bag where everything falls into your hopper, therefore your disposable liner. So very important to have all of these clamps and the fold and the black seal. So those are key items that you wanna make sure that you have when you are putting on your dust collector bags. And there we go. When you turn on your cabinet, you're gonna close the doors turn it on, step on your foot pedal for a few minutes, come back here, open this up. There should be no dust back here at all. There shouldn't be any pile, any little area of any dust. Now, if there is, then you know that that particular bag where that dust is, is not secure to the flange. And then you have to undo it, make sure that fold is nice and tight and then tighten it down. Um, you wanna make sure it's really tight the last thing we need to do is connect our handle here, our shaker bar. 
and then I'm holding the nut in the back so it's nice and tight. You can take your wrench, tighten that up, and now you can hand tight your shaker bar. And there you go, that's on nice and tight. So you wanna make sure that you have all your tools, you wear a mask, you wear your goggles, have your vacuum, have an air gun. So what do you want to do for maintenance? When you install your bags after you're blasting for several hours, use your shaker bar. If you need a thorough um, cleansing, go ahead and shake them down by hand or use an air gun. That Those are little things that you can do to, uh, to prolong the life of your bags. Remember, they're Teflon coated, so it's like a nonstick pan, but that coating does wear. Otherwise, change them out and you're good to go. You're blasting with a nice clean cabinet again, and you're ready to go with your HEPA filter bags.